Alright, so here's the city I started off with, um, originally showing how to do the spacing. And um, it's a fairly complex city. The uh, traffic's going bad as I expected. Uh, so right now I've got land view on, and because it's clicked on the roads I see the traffic. Um, it's a little bit dense right in here, but let me just uh, go over what we're looking at here. As we go over the different colors, I think it'll help to understand how to have a, a well-balanced city. All right, let's get into it. So basically, we click down here on the population panel. It shows us that we have none unemployed for all three work classes. Um, we have available jobs for all three. Um, low wealth are dissatisfied a little bit, which means that there are some Either it means that there are too many low-wealth residents, or that there are not enough low-wealth shops. Um, <coughs> now, unsold goods means that there are not enough of the medium and high-wealth residents. Basically, they've got stuff on the shelves that aren't being sold. Uh, this means that everything on the shelves is being sold, and they want more. That's probably the easiest way to think about it. So. All right. Um, basically, what we're looking at here is the demand for residentials across the board. Um, it's not that high a demand. It's it's, it's actually somewhat uh, medium. So I might be looking for rezoning to allow some more of these different wealth uh, citizens to come in. But maybe not necessarily more of the, the low wealth, just because they're just going to be coming in to not have. Uh, the shops that they need, so more of the medium and high wealth. Um, and then in the industrial freight, it shows unfilled freight orders. This just means that there is freight sitting on these industrial buildings up here. There, um, They have freight, and they haven't sent it out, or it hasn't gone to the right place. Um, <coughs> so, it's a good thing, because if we run out of freight, then um, the, the commercial, let's see where the commercial, they won't be getting the supplies that they need. So, um, <clears throat> if we had unsatisfied, that would just mean that um, they're, uh, actually, I'm trying to think about this. It's freight on the shelves and they're selling it. If they're unsatisfied, they're not selling I'm not sure what that means under the industrial freight. Um, <clears throat> so then we have students, and we have actually quite a few that are not enrolled. So anyhow, I'm just looking at the population, and it's quite useful to understand what's going on with your city. So we could use a little bit more residential, which means um, getting these guys to build up. Basically, these um, commercials just built up and increase the need for, for more residential. So the way we get that to build up is, is of course we use the parks. So I've got actually a pretty good set of parks right here. Um, this is for the low wealth as you can see the single simoleon sign at the end. These are actually the equivalent of the double simoleon or the medium wealth. Um, basically these parks serve multiple functions. They serve to give Sims a place to work, they serve as a place um, that, that gives out happiness, and they serve as a place that gives um, that raises land value. So, basically, it has to be in a certain land value for the the buildings to be happy. Uh, so, if you've got these buildings right here, they're right happy. But if you get the really high land value, then um, if rich Sims need to come in they'll basically bulldoze these and, and raise up um, places for the rich sims. So I guess they, it's like they get preference. <coughs> okay, so now these rich sims, they, they really don't take, they take up a whole lot of land. So um, we really don't have a whole lot of rich sims in here. If you can look, we've got 131 high wealth uh, sims and they're, they're taking a good chunk of land right here. Uh, they also require a lot of parks, uh, mansions, 
I know they're not happy with education. Um, and I've got... There we go. I've got a high school here. Let me just uh, add one more thing to it. It's always... Attempting just to add another uh, classroom or two onto it. Here, give them a couple. Alright, so 3,800. See if that's enough for you guys. Hopefully that's going to increase. So anyhow, as we get the education... These guys are going to be happy. Be a lot more recycling, safer, less load on the city services. It's going to do a lot of good things there. So, yeah, they're at 1800. Anyhow, let me just show you some of the infrastructure. We've got a main thoroughfare in to uh, two tourism buildings, which happen to serve, they, they serve uh, quite a few different purposes. They'll generate revenue. So you can see we're getting a fair amount of revenue. Um, and this number for the day just keeps going up and up until we get to midnight, of course. Um, <coughs> they'll, they'll give the um, tourists the different things they need and then also uh, they'll, they'll sell things to the different wells. So they help to kind of make up for maybe not having the exact right kind of proportion of things you're selling. Now, they don't, it's not selling to the high wealth just because we're on medium wealth land. Um, so if we got this on high wealth land, it would also sell to high wealth tourists, which would be nice. But this inherently raises the medium wealth um, land value, so this is probably the easiest to get. That's 11,000 to 45,000 yesterday. This is at 21,000 to 21,000 yesterday, so um, I wouldn't be surprised actually maybe if it's capped. Um, maximum tourists is 390 on this one. Interesting, they're a high wealth, so we actually are selling to some high wealth. I didn't think the land value was that. Let me just check real quick because I don't remember seeing that. Huh. Oh, make me a liar here. The um, land is definitely medium wealth. This is the high wealth color, but somehow they are actually selling to high wealth customers, which is going to make these guys um, a bit happier. Actually, bring in a few high wealth guys. So, all right, there's a lot of happiness being generated. It's happy faces, and so the happiness basically increases the density. Happiness increases density. Now, for the land value, the, the kind of part determines the um, determines the land value. So these are um, low wealth parks. They're going to generate. Um, low wealth kinds of, of land values. So we're only going to get these high wealth land values if you can put up the, uh, the high wealth parks. And you can have these red buildings away from it. So you have to clear away all the uh, bus stops, <laughs> even the park and ride. They actually don't even, they don't like these things, but I managed to push up the, the blue to the, this mine. Now you can't actually get blue in areas that are heavily uh, polluted. So these guys right here are producing pollution and the air is actually pushing this way. Um, why did I build these things here? Obviously because that's where the resources are. So we're actually pulling in quite a bit of the resources and quite a bit of income uh, from these two tourism buildings. So you really don't want to have your high wealth in this zone because the wind's blowing like here. So that's actually why I did my park sound like this, so I wouldn't get high wealth here. But they will be complaining all the time. And, uh, that's just not going to be good for your city. So, alright. Let me show you... Okay, basically when I first looked at the city, I looked at the, the, the wind and the resources. So, here's the resources. Nothing. A little bit of something there. You know, right there. And basically I marked it out with, um, with some dirt roads, so I knew where it was. Um, <coughs> and then the oil. We have a fair amount of oil in three different places that I marked out with roads. And then I set to actually to creating the, the sizes for these grids so that um, they would be large enough to hold high density buildings. Um, we don't have high density buildings yet. Um, I guess these tourism ones are the only ones. 
with high density buildings. Um, once I got that in, got some population in, um, I mostly went for the low wealth just so I wouldn't have any, any problems. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, went up with the roads to put in this, um, put in oil well, and uh, you don't have to put a trade depot in, you can just put the other uh, trade facility in, which I actually put over here initially. Um, now this trade depot is connected to the water and connected to the rail, as you can see here. You don't have to have both. So that's the water part right up, up there. So once I got, basically what you need is you need a depot to store your oil and your um, ore or whatever your resources you're collecting. It's going to store it there. Um, you're going to go into edit and put down some storage places for, for it to go. And then go into the manage and you're going to set them to export if you want to make money off of them. Uh, otherwise you'll maybe a local to use them in, in the city. But export is the, the easiest way. Alright, so... Good, let's talk about the um, mass transit. So, you can see here I have trains highlighted. You can see the trains coming in. I actually don't need the oil map anymore. Let me put it to... I don't even know what would be useful. Population. Okay. So these blue lines show the rails, and so I have a rail that actually goes up and over using M to elevate it. And then um, it actually gives me a little outlet right here where I put in a, a connection to the trade, de um, trade depot and a passenger station. Usually this one turns around a lot more people than that, on 59, but yeah, it's working. Okay. So basically from this main line, this was the main line that came out to about here, I put out sub lines or uh, basically you need it to come out so they can go to the different stations you want. You bring it into, this is this is in the area of um, some buildings and some residentials. I want the residentials to get to it easily. I don't want them to have to travel way out to the side. So I've got one in here and then some group of residentials in here I want to be able to get to this one. So here I've got the, the rail line actually goes across um, some roads. So maybe not the most ideal, but it's, it's a lot easier than going up and down and up and down and not having enough rail line on the actual ground to, to be able to use. Um, now what you're looking at here, these blue guys are shoppers, so they're going and looking for things to buy. Um, the golden guys are, are tourists. So they're coming in and they're they're buying uh, tourism from the different um, different commercial buildings. And then let's see what else we have. We've got some guys at home right here. People are at home. Why are they staying at home? I don't know. So get out and go do something. Yeah, I'm gonna do something. I don't know. All right. So that's the rail lines do have a bus system in here, but keep in mind the buses can only really go in the medium and, and low wealth. These high wealth guys do not like the buses, not even the bus stops. So, it's a good thing to keep in mind, I guess, with the, the buses. I haven't put any street cars in. Um, do have a couple of boats. So, it's a ferry terminal. Just put it off to the side. Let them have access on both sides. There's a cruise ship. It's probably gonna come in here and, and dock. Got some tourists and some workers. Huh. It's almost like that, that cruise ship just sailed right on by. It doesn't want to stop by my little port. Okay. So there we go. I guess that gives a pretty good look at everything. Didn't want to actually check the high school. They start at 6 a.m. So we're not actually. So we got 2,300. That's pretty good. Can actually look at the education map, and it shows that a lot of people didn't get educated here. Not good. Somehow it didn't get over to these hundred kids. So 
I guess the last thing I wanted to look at to show you, um, let's see, I've got a sh on a previous video I actually showed how to get the spacing so you can have the right amount of space for the, for the buildings to develop right. You don't want it to be too slightly too small and then it, you know, it just can't um, can't grow. Um, <clears throat> I've got main avenues coming out from this central one just so that you can keep this clear as people come in and out of the city and then hopefully um, people will stay on the side sections for instance um, See, there's a lot of residential around here. Not for certain that I'd have. So basically, these guys have to come out here to, to do their shopping. So the blue parts are for shopping. Actually, in here, I did a lot more mixing of, of the blue and the green. But uh, interesting enough, some of these guys are like, can't find shops or parks. Here, let me show you. There's a park. Oh, it's in here. There's a park. And um, it's actually quite a few parks in one. You just click on edit and you can add more parks to this, this one. And um, let's see, see all that blue? Those are shops. So why can't I find those guys? I really don't get it. Those uh, lovely some city bugs. But anyhow, I'm thinking I covered pretty much everything I wanted to cover. This uh, city is making quite a bit of money. And I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. It's fairly complex but all the numbers seem to be roughly where I want them. Um, really, I want these to be a little lower, maybe a little bit uh, unemployed here, so we have a nice balance in the two. But that's just something that takes um, kind of careful juggling of the uh, city parks. Keep in mind your pollution and so forth, when it comes, especially when it comes to your medium, high, uh, high wealth. You really don't want to put the even the medium ones in the line of pollution. So, but that's that's the nature of this map. Uh, the wind is going straight into here, and all the resources are right in here on the side of the map. So, you, know, you do what you can. Now, one of the things you can do, I guess, would be the last thing, is put down some forests when you go to your parks. In the medium wealth, um, you do have the option to put down uh, forests. So you can click on that, and you can plant forests all around here. And these trees will basically decrease the pollution by a small amount. So it's 50 each. And as the uh, trees eat up the pollution, eventually they get too much pollution and they die. So then they have to plant more. So it's kind of tedious, really. When you do it one at a time, you can't like, hold it down. You plant a lot of them. But it does reduce the pollution somewhat. Alright, so I guess I covered everything I wanted to here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Um, I guess one last thing, I'm talking about the upgrades on the roads. Do, don't upgrade your roads until you're ready for um, the uh, uh, any of the buildings to increase in density. So just because you see, if you, if you look on the roads and you say, oh wait, oh, these are really clear. And you say, oh wait, there's a lot of traffic on this road. Let's increase the density. Well, you're going to get a lot more density from these buildings as they upgrade, if they upgrade. Um, so um, it could actually make your road problem worse on this stretch. So just keep that in mind. All right, hope you guys learned something and enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys later.